Congratulations. Hi. Congratulations. Do you want a drink? Uh, no, nobody I wants one. We're trying to jump. <laughs> <laughs> trying to give them away. I already jumped. All right. Reggae recording of the year. Uh, How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. This is my fourth. Yeah, June four in a row. Yeah, consecutively. It's epic. Yeah, it's epic. You know, um, I mean, I always um, I don't I don't prepare speeches whenever I attend the judo because there's a lot of great musicians that's in my category, you know? So I don't prepare speeches, you know? So if I won, to God be the glory. If I lost, to God be the glory. Right. Because the music lives on, you know? You that's, must be making a lot of music to have four Junos in a row. Are you releasing that much music? Well, we, um, <laughs> we as reggae musicians, we release a lot of music, you know? Because, I mean, we are independent musicians. We're not signed to major labels. You know, so in our spare time, we create music in our house, and we we really sit out there for the people. We 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 we, we work with um different records com record company that they do reggae, like for instance, Pentos Records and other labels across the world, Keystone Records, you know, and just release music out there for the people. Cause we are not signed to major label, we are we are restricted. Mm -hmm. We just sing music and put it out there for the people. Cause our music is really the truth, singing about love, upliftment, loving each other, taking care of each other. That's our our music and. Those kind of music don't need to hold back, you know. How I restrict it. How independent are your releases? Like, are you making these in your house, or do you have yourself a studio that you're making them in? Well, I have a studio at home, you know, but uh, we also have producers from Jamaica. Who, you know, that like Jamaica is the hub for reggae music. We have different producers that we work with. We sing reggae songs, and they they put it out. We promote it together, you know, um, collectively. But that's what we do all day, you know. Yeah. Does it still feel as good as the first Juno? You know? It feels good, you know, for a, for a person who was born in Jamaica mm -hmm. and migrated to this country and, you know, to be receiving an honor like this for, for the full time. It's really a joy, you know. My kids were born here, all my kids were born here, you know, and whenever they, they reach of age, they would know that their dad has done it. So that would motivate them to do something constructive in life, you know, whatever. You don't have to be music. It can be anything, but just do, be positive. Are they into in music? Are they getting well, into the... All of them sings, you yeah. know, but they're young. One is 12, one is 9, and one is 4. So, but, I mean, it's example for my kids. I have said that. Yeah. So when I have this home, when they reach up age, they would know that my dad won that. Mm -hmm. You know, and they would try to do something positive for humanity, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. How young were you when you started music? Are, are you, like, <laughs> pushing them into it yet? Because no, of I'm not, how young you, know, you were? Right now, it's, it's, it's cool for them, you know? Okay, yeah. I, I, I grew up kind of different from them because I grew up in Jamaica to, to what my, 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 my kids' stages, you know? So we, we didn't have much, per mm -hmm. se, you know? Because I was born in Jamaica, in the country. Mm -hmm. So we didn't have much. We didn't have musical instrument and all of that. You understand? So they have the, 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 the opportunity of all of that in Canada. Mm -hmm. So I always teach them to... Um, utilize what you have. Utilize your surrounding. Utilize the privilege that Canada gave, gave unto you, and that's the direction I'm pushing them. So for once they desire to be a musician, they're gonna be. If they don't, I still support them. Yeah. And did you did you have this dream? Like when did you kind of set in your mind that this well, was the vision you had for your musical? Family? Music is really an inborn concept, you know. You're born musician, but sometimes it takes a time for you to realize what your true calling is. You understand? So I would just say that I mean. Um, the, the all I get, that's when I realize what mm -hmm. the Almighty has chosen me to do is to sing music for the people, and this is my calling, and I do it. You know, Absolutely, yeah. yeah, it just come naturally. Is there anyone you're excited to mingle with or meet here? I know you've done four Junos in a row, so you've probably met a lot of your, you know, fellow <laughs> fellow Canadian musicians. But anyone you you want to connect with this weekend? Well, you know, I mean, it's a joy. Yeah. To meet everyone, it's a joy. I mean, as I said, as I mentioned, I was born in Jamaica. Yeah. I never dreamed yeah. of walking on a red carpet. You know, mm -hmm. I never, I never dream of, I mean, being interviewed by, I mean, a panel of people. Mm -hmm. I, I never dream of walking the Juno podium. You know, so it's a joy just to be to be here without meeting someone. It's it's a joy to me. You know, it, it bring a joy to my heart to know that I've lived my life. And if in and if per se something to happen to me tomorrow, I could say I well spend my life. I have I've, I've walked the red carpet. Mm -hmm. I've seen it, you know? So I give thanks. 
I'm interested to know how you got into music then, because you talked about growing up on the Jamaican countryside, in the Jamaican countryside. Yeah. Well, my dad was a musician. He used to DJ. Like, in Jamaica, in the 80s, he used to have sound system with box and they play records and then um, they would hold the mic like this and they would DJ. Mm -hmm. So my dad used to do that. So my dad met my mom by doing that because he, he come to my country and a sound system DJ, that's how we met my mom. So that, that's how I, I came about. So I mm -hmm. born and see my dad DJing. Yeah, You're the offspring so of music. Yeah, I'm the offspring. He got her moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She couldn't I'm deny the offspring. it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm the offspring of a musician. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Well, congratulations. Thank you very Reggae much. recording of the year, Exco Levi. Thank you. Uh, are you going back out there to the party? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Have All a right. drink for us. Have I fun. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Nice Bless you. Yes.